Dozens from the community coming together to help the 90 people who lost their belongings and their home to a fire on Lafayette Avenue last week. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paula Suro tells us what the support means to those who were displaced by the fire. It's been one long week for the 90 people who lived in this apartment complex on Lafayette Avenue. Somebody saying fire, fire, fire. When I go open the door, it's the fire department. That's my, my home. My, when my twins show up to their life, that was the first apartment we rent. Memories made after years of living there for both Mustafa Abdu and Roberto Roman gone in just hours. It was devastating. We were like a family there. But now the community is helping residents like them get back on their feet. People started contacting contacting us, putting out, calling us, saying, how can I help? How can I contribute? So immediately we realized we have to make sure we're capturing this in the most efficient way. What started with a GoFundMe page quickly grew into much more. Juwaria Dahir and Leila Ishmael say they've received countless phone calls from others in the community saying they want to help in some way. They do not call us the city of good neighbors for nothing. <laughs> this is a, the, an exceptional example of how we can put all the differences aside, especially with what's going on in this world today and we just took action. The overwhelming response showed through the tables stacked high with clothes and boxes overflowing with pillows and bedding to some of the items the community donated to the victims of the fire. I'm feeling emotional a little bit right now because everybody's here and everybody is safe and everybody is sharing that love and respect to each other. Now this wasn't just a one person job. 50 volunteers helped put this event together. We don't even know these people. They just we, called people, us, contacted us. While many lost everything in the fire, they're thankful they have each other to lean on, but sad they won't be able to call each other neighbors any longer. It was some sad moment, and I feel so bad for everybody who lost in anything in that building because it was tragedy. It was a sad moment. Now we're all torn apart separated and now a new start for all with friendships that have grown stronger after going through this tough experience together i just thank god again uh, we're all alive I, I, it's just the greatest miracle i've ever seen paula Suro, seven eyewitness news